Hey, what's up YouTubers? Welcome back to the Tech Talks. So this video is going to be the continuation of the previous one, which was the SQL injection basics. So in this video, I'm going to show you the demonstration of SQL injection. So for that, I've created a demo page named index.php, wherein I'm just having a basic login form with email and password. So I'll just show you the PHP file of this particular page. So here's the code for the PHP file of login, wherein I'm having this two text box. The first one is the email address and the second one is the password and the login button. Whenever I click on the login button, that is this particular button having the type equal to submit and the name also equal to submit, this following action will occur, which is my email will be extracted from my particular text box. The same goes for the password and a query will be fired against the database which in my case is the MySQL database, wherein I'll be checking the email address and the password for that particular user. If he's a valid user, then this particular query will run and will enter into this particular if condition, wherein I'll be storing the name of that particular user from my table. And finally, I'll be redirecting that particular user to my new page, which is welcome.php. So now let us see this in action. Now for this purpose, I'm making the use of the XAM server, which is my local server. So here's the XAM server, wherein I have started my Apache Tomcat and the PHP MyAdmin, which is the MySQL database. So over here, this is the database, that is the PHP MyAdmin, and I've created a database named as login demo table, and I'm having a user details table in it. So I've added one entry in it, as you can see over here. So now let us try to log in with this particular username where the email address is your name at direct example.com. So let us enter the email address over here. And the password is password. Now when I press on the login button, this actions will be occurring in my background. And if the username and the password and the password is valid, then I'll be redirected to the welcome.php page. So now let us hit on the login button. So as you can see that, when I pressed on the login button, I got redirected to the new page, which was welcome.php and my name was extracted from the table. Now, this was without SQL injection. Now let us try to implement the SQL injection on the login page. Okay, so now I'm having a blank text box for email as well as for password. If you remember from a previous video, we had discussed three types of SQL injection. The first one was one is equal to one. The second one was for equal to, and the last one was for dropping or for altering the tables by appending some extra SQL queries into your text box. So now let us try the first one, which was the one is equal to one. So now in my email text box over here, I'll enter this pattern over here, which is a single quote followed by a space, then an or, and again a space followed by a single quote, one single quote equal to one and one. Once again, enter the same thing in your password text box also. So now when I click on the login button, the first record from my table will be extracted and I'll be logged in with that particular name. So now let us hit on the login button. So now you can see that I've been logged in with the name Sachin, which was my first user in this table. Now, if you're having a couple of entries in this table, you'll be logged in with the first user name in any case. So now let us try with the second option, which was the equal to, now this will also work the same way as the one is equal to one did. Enter this, enter this pattern in the text box for email address and the text box for the password and hit on the login button. And the same action will occur, which occurred in the case of the one is equal to one. Now there are a couple of patterns available for this one is equal to one and equal to, which I'll be putting in, the, in my description below. So you can just check them out. So you can just play around with this SQL injection and try to implement some new conditions into this particular text boxes and try to perform some SQL injection on your local host. But remember that you are using this particular thing only for educational purpose and you are not harming anyone. So if you like this video, you can put a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button just below this video. Once again, thank you for watching. Peace.